Hello, what's up guys? Today we will be looking at a WordPress website that was hacked by a malware. So uh, what this malware does is uh, it will uh, insert a lot of posts into the website. So uh, to do a check uh, whether this uh, website has been hacked, we go to google.com. We do a site search uh, which begins with the command uh, site uh, semicolon uh, and we type in the domain name of the website that we want to check. So uh, this will actually uh, release all the index uh, posts on the website by Google as you can see here. Let's scroll down. Uh, this uh, website has a lot of uh, spammy posts. Uh, this post is not uh, posted by the owner of the website, however, it is uh, posted by the malware that has been uh, infected the website. So let's have a look at the domain. So uh, as you can see here, it is uh, directing us to some sort of uh, spammy website, which is uh, some casino, uh, maybe some online casino. So it has uh, infected a lot of uh, spammy posts into the website. So usually this type of malware, it will also uh, infect the different website on the same hosting. So to do a uh, check whether the other website has been infected, you can use the same site command and we type in the domain name of the different website. So uh, to do that, just replace the domain name on the or over the domain name that you want to check, and let's have a look at the result of the search. So uh, as you can see here, uh, it has also uh, infected the uh, different website on the same hosting. So uh, to recover this, you will have to restore your last known uh, backup. Before that, you will have to delete everything on your hosting account or you can reset your hosting account by contacting your support. Um, you have to make sure that this backup has no malware, so uh, else it will come back and reinfect the uh, different website on your hosting. A uh, bit of uh, heads up, there are no point of uh, searching for the malware code and removing it manually as uh, it will replicate itself and comes back after a while. If you do not have any working backup on your website, there is one more method which you can use to restore your posts and your uh, photos but it takes a bit of a uh, longer process. So here is a summary of things that you need to do in case you do not have any working backup. First, you will need to use the WordPress tool to export all content into XML. Make sure uh, then next you will need to backup all your WP uploads folder which consists of uh, mostly of all of your images. And make sure all uh, these files do not contain any viruses. The first step is to delete everything or reset your hosting by contacting your support team. Over the last step, you will need to create a new WordPress installation and you will need to use the WordPress tool to re import all your posts. To restore any images or media, you will have to re upload your uploads folder into your WP content. Among the other things that you will lose is probably your WordPress themes and your WordPress plugin but you will need to reinstall a fresh copy of everything after you reset. To begin the process, you will have to use the export and import content function that is available by default on WordPress to save whatever content that you have on WordPress in case you do not have any uh, backup. So what we are essentially doing is we are exporting all the contents on the infected website into an XML file. So uh, what this virus usually do is they will attach uh, themselves uh, through codes into PHP uh, files in your WordPress. So uh, if you are exporting all your data into XML format, it should be pretty safe. So once you have exported the XML file, this would be the text contents on the website. Next, uh, to export the JPEG or image content, you will need to go to 
your cPanel on your cPanel hit to file manager and look for the uh, website that you want to export uh, over here uh, over the w uh, the wordpress root file uh, go to wp contents and go to upload so this would be where all your images are stored uh, to back up this and you will need to back up all this file uh, and export it into the new wordpress installation that is clean so to do that just uh, go ahead and zip the folder and download this uh, zip file into your new uh, hosting that which is uh, safe from any virus so uh, It is also safe if you just uh, do a double check on the, your upload folder to check if there are any PHP on your upload folder. This is because some virus they may attach itself to a PHP file in the upload folder. To do that, just do a find. And look for any PHP file in the uploads folder. So besides PHP, you may want to also check for any executable uh, server side code such as ASP or ASPX. As, uh, this may be one of the ways which the virus can reinfect your hosting. Just go inside the upload folder and check whether there are any server side code on the subfolder. So uh, make sure everything is uh, clean. So from this point onwards, you have two options. The first option is you can contact your hosting support team and have them reset your hosting account due to virus. And the second option would be uh, what I call the lazy option is to delete everything by using file manager on your hosting. Make sure you leave no PHP file or codes left in your hosting or the virus may come back. For both options, you will need to make a backup of everything by uh, copying and zipping the files. So uh, I have now deleted everything on my hosting and I am proceeding to uh, download a new uh, version of WordPress to install the fresh uh, copy of WordPress into my hosting. So uh, once we have finished the WordPress installation with the new database and the new WordPress, uh, it is now time to import the data from the uh, WordPress that was hacked. Uh, so we need to go to WordPress and go to tool, select the import. So uh, head over to WordPress, uh, you will need to install something if you do not have the importer. So click on run importer and select the XML file which you have exported from the hacked WordPress. So once you are done, uh, the posts and the pages should reflect on the new version of uh, WordPress that you have just installed. Hey, what's up guys? It has been uh, one month uh, since the installations of the new WordPress that was hacked. So as a precaution, uh, it is always good to check on uh, whether the, the site has been rehacked by the same viruses. To do that, we will use back the same uh, command which we used to check the website that was hacked. So we type in the command and put in the domain name of the website. So we are still able to see some of the uh, hacked posts, uh, inserted hacked posts. 
But let's have a look at the post. Okay, now it is redirecting us to a 4, uh, 404 error, which is a good sign that the virus has not reinfected the website. So uh, it has been more than one month uh, since the website is clean. I guess the index post will be removed by Google uh, sooner or later. So I hope that the tutorial has been informational and helpful to you. Thank you all for watching.